Immersive Engineering. It is one of the most popular Minecraft mods ever. I mean, over a hundred million downloads. And with it, you can do things like automations. You can do so much. There's even things like power generation with water wheels, windmills, biodiesel. It's crazy all that this mod can do. But how do you install it? Well, that's what we're going to be covering in this video. And first and foremost, you need to click the second link in the description down below. That's going to take you here. This is the official Immersive Engineering download page. On this page, we can see it's been downloaded 100 million times, and we can also download it for ourselves. To do this, come to the right-hand sidebar and scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section here. Now, under this, we want to make sure that we're clicking on Immersive Engineering 1.19.3. It's also worth mentioning, this site may look different for you, and that's just because you're not on the beta version of CurseForge. That's okay, but everything is the same except for one thing here in a second, and I'll show you what that is. So come to the right-hand sidebar, scroll down to the Minecraft 119 section, and then click on Immersive Engineering 1.19.3 here. When we do that, it's going to take us to this page, where it's an official page, like in a, you know, a page just for Immersive Engineering 1.19.3. Now, this is what's different. If you're on this beta site, with the black background and all that, click on the little arrow here and then click on download file. If you're not on the beta site, you'll simply just click download file on that page. That's the only thing that's different. Now after a few seconds, your download will begin and while that's happening, how about as our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. Truly, we love and just Apex so much that we host every single Minecraft server we have on Apex Minecraft Hosting and Apex is the best place to get your server started, whether you want mods, plugins, or anything else. They've even got 24-hour, 7-day a week support to help you out should you have issues. Nonetheless, again, you can check them out at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Let's go ahead and get Immersive Engineering. So it's downloaded. You may need to keep or save Immersive Engineering depending on your you know, browser. It just downloaded for me, but again, you may need to keep or save it. It's safe. It's been downloaded 100 million times. Nevertheless, let's then download Forge. Forge is the mod loader that's going to allow Immersive Engineering to actually work once we get into Minecraft. Without Forge, you don't get Immersive Engineering. Without Immersive Engineering, you don't get the features of Immersive Anyway, you get the idea. Nevertheless, Forge is linked in the description down below, and this is our in-depth guide specifically for Forge. Now, we're going to go over the basics in this video you're watching, but it is worth noting, should you have any issues, we have an entire troubleshooting section just for Forge, and this fixes most of the issues people have when it comes to Forge. For example, if Minecraft won't open because you're getting error code 1 or 0, that has the fix. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click on the Download Forge button, and then we'll take you to Forge's official website, where you want to make sure that Minecraft 1.19.3 is selected. Now, for us, by default, it is. But if for whatever reason it's not for you, you can select it in the left-hand side. Just click 1.19 in the left-hand side, and then click on 1.19.3. Boom. There you go. It is selected. Now, let's go ahead and download it. To do that, you want to come under Download Latest here, and then click on the Installer button. That will take us off to Add Focus. We're stuck! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Do not click a single thing on this page. All you want to do is put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, which we've now done, in the top right you'll see this red skip button that appears. All you want to click on this page is that red skip button. When you do that, Forge 1.19.3 should begin downloading. Assuming that is in the title, which it is for us, you're good to keep it, you're good to save it, you're good to download it. Now, if it doesn't have Forge in the title, go ahead and just discard it, all that stuff. You should be fine to just delete it or cancel the download, and then make sure you click that skip button. That's the only one thing you want to click on this page, and if you click that, this is going to work fine. Now let's just go ahead, and we've got Forge and Immersive Engineer downloading. Let's go ahead and get them installed. To do that, we want to actually go ahead and move these to our desktop. Why not required? It makes things a lot easier. So to do that, click the little those icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. In here, you want to type in File Explorer. Go ahead and open up File Explorer, and then you may have downloads right away. If that's the case, click on it. Otherwise, on the left-hand sidebar, scroll down to This PC, and you will find downloads here. Nevertheless, we then want to move Forge and Immersive Engineering to our desktop, and to get started off, we're going to be working with Forge. Now, at this point, you should be able to right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But what if you don't have Java? Well, if you don't have Java, no worries. You need to download it. And you can find it at the link in the description down below. And specifically, you need Java 17. So if you do have Java and it doesn't work, get Java 17 because you don't have the correct version of Java. Once you get this version, it will. Nevertheless, go through this entire guide. It's the most in-depth guide for Minecraft and Java on the internet. And then once you've got it, you'll be good to go. However, 
In some cases, you may need to run the jar fix. What this is going to do is take all the jar files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. This will also make your jar files look like Java files, right, right like so. So if you do have that issue, go ahead and run the jar fix. Nonetheless, we can now finally install Forge. To do that, right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. That's going to open up the mod system install for Forge. All you got to do at this point is click install client right like so and click OK. It's going to download, install, get everything you need to get for Forge to work. Now, there are two reasons this could fail, or technically three. The first is that you've never played Minecraft 1.19.3 before. If that's the case, go play it. Just launch it to the main menu with no mods or anything like that. Close out of it, and then you'll be able to install Forge. If that's not the case, you've played it before, then what you want to do is close Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher. Those are the reasons two and three. If either of those are open, it's not going to work at all. You won't be able to install Forge, and so you'll need to close them, and then reopen Forge and install it. Nevertheless, we can now go ahead and click OK as Forge is successfully installed. It will close out of that, and we can delete Forge from our desktop. Now, let's go ahead and get Immersive Engineering installed. Believe it or not, the hardest part of getting Immersive Engineering is actually getting Forge. Once you've got Forge, it's kind of a breeze. But nevertheless, once we're here, we should have Forge installation. Now, for me, it's automatically selected. You may need to click this little arrow and select it from this drop down. And if that's the case, click play, click play again, and skip ahead of the tutorial a little bit. But for some of you, you won't have Forge. Or you will, but it won't be the right version. It won't be the 1.19.3 version. In those cases, click on installations at the top. First and foremost, we're going to make sure modded selected on the right hand side here. If it's not, this just won't work. It won't be there. As you can see, we unselected modded. It's not here. If you do want it back, just click modded. So you want to make sure that's checked. Once you've got that checked, if you have Forge, click play, click play again. But if you still don't, or it's not the right version, click new installations. Now I'm going to name this Immersive Engineering, if I can spell this correctly. There we go. 1.19.3. And then we're going to go ahead and click the release drop down box, the latest release drop down box under version. And here what we want to do is select release 1.19.3 dash forge. So we want this specific forge installation. Now, if this isn't up here at the top. Don't worry. You might need to scroll down and find it. it. Might be at the bottom. I've seen it all the way down here. I've seen it at random places in the middle, but look forward in here. Once you find forge, go ahead and select it. I'm going to change my resolution. You don't have to. I'm just doing that so we can see better. Click create. And then we want to go ahead and play Minecraft with Forge. Either the profile that's already there, if it's correct, or the one we created with 119.3 Forge under it. Click play. Click play again. And now we'll meet you on the main menu to get immersive engineering installed. Like I said, that was the hard part. Once Minecraft's open with Forge, this is a breeze moving forward. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu. From there, we can go ahead and click mods and then open mods folder. Now that was a little fast and it was after a jump cut. Let's do it one more time. From the Minecraft main menu here, what we want to do is select mods and then click open mods folder in the bottom left. That will open up our mods folder right like so and then what we want to do is take immersive engineering from our desktop and drag it into the mods folder right like so. Now when you come back to Minecraft it's not going to be there right as you can see it's not there. So to get it here what we want to do is click done and quit the game. We then need to restart Minecraft, making sure that we're playing with our Forge installation. If you don't play Minecraft with Forge, you do not have immersive engineering. So let's go ahead here, let this reload, and then we'll be able to just click play. It's already selected, as you can see from this drop down box. Click play, click play again. Now Minecraft is going to open up with the immersive engineering mod installed. We'll quickly jump into a single player world to show you that, and then we'll be done. So here we are in the main menu. If we go ahead and select mods, and immersive engineering, there it is. Now again, I said we could jump into a single player world and we'll just quickly show you that it is working. By the way, if you do get this message, that's okay. It's just saying, hey, you're playing Minecraft with mods and mods sometimes break worlds. That's why it's so important to make a backup of your world when you're playing with mods. But nonetheless, let's go ahead, hit E, to open up our inventory, and there it is, Immersive Engineering. This adds in so much stuff, custom tools, automations. What you can do with this mod is truly mind-boggling. It even adds in some custom ores. So crazy stuff there, and definitely, definitely excited to see Immersive Engineering in the game and to see what you all can do with it. Let me know what you're going to do with Immersive Engineering in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.